Hey everybody, what's up? What's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Sorry about the poor audio quality. I'm uh, doing something a little different here. I don't have a mic hooked up. But I want to bring up something that was a bit of a problem. I noticed while recording my last video and some shots I've taken recently. I'm going to show you guys this. And hopefully if you guys are Fuji X-Pro3 owners, I'm wondering if you've noticed something similar. A little background, a little context before we get started though. Um, I was talking with some people, friends of mine, that I've met through this YouTube channel that we, we talk and we chat quite a bit about. Uh, photography stuff and cameras and gas and all sorts of things and uh, many of them they shoot Leica they shoot Fuji um, Sony and uh, these two gentlemen in particular if you're watching this you know who you are when I told them I got the X-Pro3 one of them said oh I had one but I returned it because of front focusing issues and I said oh I never had that problem I had the X-Pro3 before but it never really stood out to me and so uh, I started noticing something though related to that front focusing issue they were talking about especially when i made my last video um and some stuff i was doing afterwards like i was shooting my kids and stuff like that in the in the driveway and i want to give you guys a couple examples of this and so i'm gonna look over here at my computer screens here so i don't even reference which ones i'm talking to you guys about but i want to show you guys a couple examples of this and just to just to get to the point of what what's going on is in afs single focus auto point you put the box on something you nail the focus and you hit it. The X-Pro3 seems to do a good job. But I noticed in AFC, especially with eye detect, that it was front focusing. Now, I thought to myself, well, maybe I'm like focusing and it's acquiring focus in AFC and like the subject's moving around and it's just it's just off a hair when I hit the trigger or hit the shutter. But I uh, did a couple test subjects with my son standing still or a couple spots where he was like, posed up and, and like wasn't moving and kind of confirmed this issue. So let me show you guys a couple of photos to start this thing off. So this first photo here is of my son. And if I can crop in, I'll try and do crops of these when I do the edit. This is one where it's an AFC. It's in eye, eye and face detect and it nailed focus. If you, if you zoom in real good close here, you can see the eye is perfectly in focus. So no problem here. There's also another one. Let me see if I can find it here real quick. With my daughter, who thinks she's using a uh, <laughs> one of those like parent-proof markers as lipstick. Don't worry, no kids are harmed. This was an AFS, just to give you guys an example. I focused on her eye. I ended up focusing on her back eye. But if you zoom in on this photo as well, uh, same thing here. You can see that it's tack sharpened in focus. No issues whatsoever. However, here's another photo of my son. He's got the basketball in his hand. Now, he was standing here for a minute trying to, like, size the shot up. He wasn't moving. And the camera had said that it had picked up his eye. Now, if you zoom in here and do a little pixel peeping, if you will, it's like he's like this. The eye said I was in focus, but what's really in focus is out here. This is about, I don't know, a three to four inch difference. And the hat brim is in focus. That's one example. Same day, same shoot. This is my son. He has the, bas the baseball bat across his head. This was focused on his eye. And he was standing there like this, kind of goofing around for a couple seconds. So this wasn't like a constantly moving shot. And if you look, the bat is tack, fo tack sharp and in focus. Again, it was focused on like his face. Okay, so there's one example. Here's the third example. My son's standing with the baseball bat. And if you look... When he's like this, the eye had said it was focused on the nearest to the camera eye. His hands are back by his furthest away eye. And you can see by the jacket and stuff on his sleeve that it's focused just a little bit off. And I have numerous and numerous examples. Now, this isn't super noticeable uh, until it is. And I want to bring it up because um, I wouldn't have... I noticed it was off a little bit, but when I was talking to, to my friends... I started noticing it. And so uh, the other friend, um, Ramiro and Gabe, Gabe has an XE3 with a 35 F2, which is the same lens I shot this on. He went and shot. He's mostly AFS, but he never really had a problem with this. He shoots on an X-T4 as well. Has never had an issue. He showed me pictures and crops like this where they're totally tack sharp tech in, in focus. So my question is, has anybody else noticed this on the X-Pro3? Um, there's a couple of videos out there, some other small issues on the X-Pro3 where like, the camera won't wake up. You have to hit the shutter once for it to then like wake up and then it'll fire. Um, I've never had that issue, but this front focusing issue, 
it's ha it's really obvious sometimes, and sometimes it's just a little off. But for something that's like the latest generation focusing on a Fuji, I would think that it wouldn't have this issue, especially their pro model camera. And I got to imagine this is an intermittent issue or, or maybe something with this specific camera because um, many people use the X-Pro3 and they don't report this issue often. And also like X-T4 users, X-E4 users, they don't report this issue ever uh, either. So I don't know. I wanted to bring this up for you guys and see if you guys think, that if you notice it a little bit. Um and if you guys think it's a big deal, but yeah, uh, it's off by like, I don't know, four inches, give or take sometimes. <clears throat> and again, this isn't like my son's running at me. This isn't a sporting event. Uh, it seems like it's just off a little bit. And this is using the newer Fujicrons. This isn't the old focusing motors in these lenses. Um, and I'm at F2, which in APS-C is like, what, F2.8, F3 and uh, full field equivalent depth of field. So it's not super shallow. It's not super shallow. Um, yeah, I just want to bring this up. I, I, I noticed this. The XS10, when I put the lens on that, by the way, I didn't notice this issue. Now, admittedly, I've shot less photos on the XS10, um, but just wanted to bring this up to you guys and see what you thought. Just a quick video. Just a quick video. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Comment section below. I'll see you there. Bye.